So today I'm going to go through the basics of wiring. Now one needs to do the training with the apprentices or new starters, this is an area they dreaded. But electric sneaking systems aren't that complicated. Once you dull it down and um, break it down, there isn't really a lot to it. So we'll start today with an S-plan wiring. Let's take a look. S-plan wiring, when you see this in college or in a textbook or if you google it, it looks like snakes wedding. There's wires absolutely everywhere. Big diagram, how you expected to understand or remember that when you've just started. It's a nightmare. So I'm going to show you a more simplified version that should make it a lot easier to understand. Let's take a look. And here it is. This is a simplified version of an S-plan. So all I've done is got rid of all the earths, all the neutrals, the lives everything apart from the four main components so obviously on a two port system you have got two two ports but what you gotta do is mirror this setup flip it and that's both sides both sides are exactly the same whether it's heating or hot water so let's start from the programmer and this way it all starts the programmer so customers can have a demand whether it's heating or hot water whether it's on timeout or they're selecting themselves there's going to be a demand from the programmer and that's going to go through to your stat. That can be your room stat or your hot water cylinder stat. Now, if that's got a demand, so if the hot water needs heating or the central heating needs to come on, that will be calling. So that will make the switch in here and that will send 240 then to your brain wire on your two port. What will happen then? The brain wire is connected to a synchron motor. That will turn, open up your valve Make a switch, send 240 to your orange. Then your orange will be linked in to your boiler and your pump. And that will bring everything on. Certain setups, Worcester for example, the pump is directly wired into the boiler. That's the only difference I can see. So instead of it being there, it should be wired straight into your pump. And that's it. That is how basic S-plan wiring is. It's four or five wires. That's all you've got to remember to wire up an S plant is them wires. It comes in really handy for fault finding as well. So let's just say we've got a fault on this one. We've got no no hot water, no eating, whichever. So what you could do, find an earth point, put one of your probes on there, and we're just gonna use our other one to track the wiring. So I don't know why, but always go for the brain wire. That's how I do my full farm. Just go straight to the brain wire. But you can start from the program, work your way around. But just find it easier. Find going to the junction box, which is just wires everywhere. But find your brown, put your probe on there. Have you got 240? If you have, we know that the programmer and the stat is fine. Once I know I've got 240 on my brown, have I got 240 on my orange? If I haven't got 240 on my orange, I know then it's probably the two port. If I have got 240 on my orange, then I know that my boiler's there's something wrong with the boiler. Because obviously if it's 240 here, the boiler should be coming on. Port finding becomes a lot easier once you understand electric. So you can't just, when you get turn up to a fault on these and say the hot water's working with the heating is, you can just get your probes out, start testing, and you can find where the fault is really easy. Now, if you do diagnose the two port, it is worth mentioning, most of the time, you don't have to replace the full valve. And most of the time, you don't have to replace the head. You can't just do the synchron motor inside. You can't just buy replacement synchron motors. Now, the way I decide whether I'm going to do a synchron head or the full valve is, I'll test the spindle. I'll take the head off the two port and try the spindle. Now, if the spindle is nice and free and easy to move, then great. I can just... I'll do the head or do the sink one. If the spindle's rock solid, you need to replace the valve because it's not you, you put a new head on and if it's got a stiff spindle, it's either gonna burn the motor again or it's just not gonna work. So then you do need a, a probably better for a full new valve. But if the spindle's loose, I'll normally replace just the sink one. So it's just two wires, sink one out, sink one in. I'll have to do a video on that because it is a lot more cost effective and easier to do 
than replacing a head or the full valve. So I always remember that with a two port, most of the time it is just a single motor. When you break down electrics, it ain't that hard to understand really in central heating systems. It is just like a series of switches. For the boiler to work, the two ports got to work, for the two port to work, so that's got to work, and so on and so forth. As you can see from the diagram, it's all linked and looped together. Everything connects with everything. So it's just like an on off switch, it's on. Just remember that two ports are a great starting point to start understanding the basics of electrics and heating systems. And really, there's three wires that you need to remember on a two port. You need to remember the brown here, which is in, orange, which is out. So, the reason I say brown's in is you see your feed in after you're programming your stat, it's what's going in to your two port. And the orange is the power coming out and the other wire which i haven't even mentioned is the gray wire so the gray wire is the light that's the live supply to the two port so there's five wires on the two port you got earth and neutral gray which is live like i said if you want to dull down electrics you forget about the live neutral earth so you just get rid of them get them out of the way that's why i didn't include the gray on this then the other two you got left, brown in, orange out. So really, I normally say, just remember them two. You remember them two on this type of circuit, you'll be fine. The others are just switches. There's a switch in there, and that's your main starting point. And that's it, that is a simplified s plan wiring. Just to cover the program and the stat, on the programmer, you'll normally have, it's normally three and four on these, You'll have it coming out, whether it be heating or hot water, that'll be to the common on the stat, then that'll be coming out on the calling on the stat. Now it depends on the make and model of the stat and the programmer, where them wires goes, but normally it's common and calling, and on your programmer it'll be hot water on and central heating on. But that all depends on the make and model of the program or stat. Hope that's helped you out on S-Plan Warring. As I said, when you do electric down in heating systems, they ain't that bad. And if you get your head around it, fault finding becomes a lot, lot easier. Thanks for watching.